The internet has changed everything, from the way we work, to the way we play, to the way we live. It seems that there's a corner of the internet for everyone. Despite what interests you have, despite what your beliefs are, there's someone, or something out there, that thinks the same way that you do. There's so much stuff on the internet, most of which you don't even know exists. If you want something, anything, whether it be a service or a product, legal or illegal, moral or unethical, the internet has it. You can choose to use this for good or bad. Under the surface lies a nest of dark and hidden activities that are blocked off from the rest of the world. The dark web is the haven for illegal online activity. And it goes deep, much deeper than you might imagine. And it's all hidden in plain sight. You could access it in minutes if you wanted. But should you? You can break down the internet into three separate categories. First off, we have the surface web. This is everything that you use on a daily basis. YouTube, Twitter, any social media at all. It's all a part of what we call the World Wide Web. But what you can't find are things like their bank account or medical records. These things are hidden under password protected websites, where only they can access them. This is where we venture into the deep web. The deep web refers to the content on the internet that is not indexed by search engines, but even further and deeper than the deep web. In the tiniest sliver of the internet, lies the part of the web where things don't leave. Websites that are encrypted to hide their existence. Sites without IP addresses to make them nearly unrecognizable. Accessed by users with encrypted software to completely mask their identities. Here, anything and everything goes. We've reached the dark web. The internet wasn't made to be anonymous. But for the average person, everything you do online can, and in many ways, will be tracked. They sell your data to advertisers around the world. And you agreed to it in those terms and conditions that you didn't read. Because of onion routing, darknets like Tor can exist. Tor stands for the onion router. It's a software named after the technology that made it possible. But through Tor and other similar darknets, you can access web pages that aren't available to the general public. This is the dark web. Even if you never visit the dark web, if you didn't even know it existed, it still affects you. If your data was stored in a company's database that was compromised, there's a chance it's for sales somewhere on the dark web, where it could be purchased by anyone with access to it. This is only a small look into this deep and dark corner of the internet. The lack of rules here allows anything to exist. The deeper you go, the scarier things you'll find. The dark web doesn't have to be a terrible place. It's only scary if you go looking for things that you don't want to see.